Good morning, this is Elisa. And I thought that I would share with you something really cool today. So, do you have blogs that you like to read? Well, if the answer is no, I have two that you should really be reading. The first is the CTLE blog, where many people, including myself and Megan and Mark and Cheryl, and we have guest bloggers as well, like Chris and Susan, Nate, um, we blog pretty much two to three times a week where we're sharing information with you. Here you can see that Cheryl posted a video about a sneak peek at leveraging canvas, canvas styles. And that was pretty cool if you're into that. Uh, if you're not, then maybe you have the same situation that one of my colleagues had where students aren't doing the reading in the online class and she wanted to have uh, some suggestions of what to do. So I wrote her back and made a video to show her some tricks that I use. And then you can keep going, but there's all kinds of things that you can read about and learn about just by visiting the blog. But I know that people are busy, so it takes time to always remember what the URL is of the blog and then to make it back to check if anything is new. Well, I'm going to show you today one way that you can do that without having to come check. It'll come delivered to you or kind of delivered to you. Here's another blog that you should be reading. It's the Bright 6x6 blog where over 20 faculty, staff, and administrators are blogging right now about all things GCC. Here you can see Vice President of Student Services, Terry Leba Ruiz, wrote about the SciTech Night of Student Success. Sounds like a really exciting experience. And then others, like Belle Weinmiller, is blogging about she finally got something. <laughs> anyway, lots of awesome stories and things to read and watch and listen to when you can follow these blogs. So this is the Write 6x6 blog, and then this is the CTLE blog. So let me show you what you can do to grab the RSS feed and have it delivered right to your Chrome browser. I know that sounds tricky, but it really isn't. So the first thing you're going to do is hit the button up here, these three lines, and we're going to go into More Tools. Okay, so I'm going to click that. I'm going to scroll down to More Tools, we're going to choose extensions. And when you go to the extensions page, you'll see all the extensions that you have added. If you've added any, you may, it might be blank for you. Scroll to the very bottom and hit more extensions. Then from there, you're going to search. So what we're doing is working for our, looking for RSS. Uh, actually, I'm going to type in the word feed, feeder. And so what's going to pop up are all of these different extensions that I can add to Chrome. And the one you're looking for is right here. It's called RSS Feed Reader, offered by feeder.co. Okay, so all you have to do to add this to your Chrome browser is say, add to Chrome. So I'm gonna click that. And then up here, it says add extension. I'm gonna say yes. And then the magic happens. And once the magic is done happening, you'll see that I now have this RSS icon up on my browser bar. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. I'm going to close out of this, and the icon still stays there. I'm going to go back to this, to where I was. Now, when you go to a page, let me refresh this page. When you go to a page that has um, an RSS feed to it, like our blogs do, you'll see that there's a plus that pops up. See that plus? So now all I have to do to subscribe to this blog is to hit the button, and I'm going to start using Feeder and I'm going to add the feed. So you can see that it has two. The first one is just for the, the articles that are being posted here. The other is for the comments. So if you want to read what people's comments are, you can add that one. But I recommend just adding the first one. So I'm going to click follow, and now I am following. Okay, so I hit the check mark, and I'm all set up there. Now I'm going to go over to the right 6x6 six six page and refresh this page, and watch, you'll see a plus pop up. Boom. That means it's found the feed for this blog. So I'm going to hit the plus, hit the plus here, and now I can see that I have the right 6x6 feed and the right 6x6 comments feed. And we're going to follow the first one. Okay, okay we'll follow and hit the check mark. All right, so now let's go back onto this. Now you can see that I have subscribed to these two, to these two blogs. So whenever there are any new posts, let's go off of this page, let's go to a blank page. Okay, it'll give me a notification up here that there are new items to read. And all I have to do is click on this, 
and it will bring up all the articles that are available for me to read. And if I want to read any of them, I can click on it and it'll take me to the blog. And so I don't have to remember the URL to the blog or anything. I can just simply go, click on the two items that I have that I have subscribed to, and then read the titles. And it's why that's why it's important that we write good titles. What have I done? I'm gonna read that. So I click on it, it takes me over to the right six by six blog and immediately to Rico's post. Okay, so that's how you can subscribe to RSS feeds. If there are any, I know a lot of people like to uh, visit many blogs like news blogs. So if I type in news, all of these Google news things pop up, I can click on that. And you'll know that there's a feed because a plus sign pops up. So again, I click the plus sign, click the one, and now I can subscribe to the Google news feed if I wanted to. And so all that news will pop up right in my uh, little corner and I don't have to go to this website anymore if I don't want to. Okay, so I hope you all subscribe to the Write 6x6 blog and the Center for Teaching and Learning and Engagement blog. Thanks.